Memphis, man. What's up guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're blessed yet again with another very special opportunity of filming with a high performance sports utility vehicle. <laughs> Behind me is a 2021 Durango Hellcat and this bad boy has 710 horsepower and 645 pound feet of torque. And that is just the beginning of what this car has to offer. Now definitely follow Buy Me Out Hellcat on Instagram for sure. Otherwise, uh, this video wouldn't have been possible. Check out their page, go give them some support. They've been long supporters of the channel. And uh, yeah, we're just spreading the experience. And do me a favor guys, like the video right now if you're watching, it definitely helps the engagement. So uh, let's let's run these numbers up. And go ahead and copy some Osaze Vlogs merchandise right down below at tunagods.com. Now this is a three row family SUV pumping out 710 horsepower right here, man. With a top speed of 180 miles an hour. Bro, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Those are Ferrari numbers, man. I mean, it does the quarter mile in literally 11 seconds, and that's just from factory, man. And here's a look at your 6.2 liter SRT supercharged Hemi under the hood. It's also capable of towing up to 8,700 pounds, dude. You could literally tow a GTR to the drag strip and then beat it with this thing. <laughs> but I mean, seriously, from a car that weighs 5,700 pounds, those are some impressive freaking numbers. You're getting supercar acceleration, Ferrari freaking performance, basically, um, the seating capacity of a minivan, and literally the capability of a towing like a pickup truck. But it is indeed important that you know that the Durango first hit the scene back in 1998 and in 2011, that's when it kind of had this, mm, I'd say more modern facelift type thing. But Dodge really hasn't changed the overall design of the car since 2011, making it one of the oldest designs in the car market right now. But guys, you know I love the sound of exhaust notes, so let's listen to this badass three row SUV and uh, let me know what you think about it below. But let's 
take a look inside of this Durango Hellcat because I want to go over a few things. You know, um, they did change the interior a bit. Of course, you know what I'm saying? You're getting your paddle shifties and whatnot and whatnot. But if you look all over, all you're seeing is SRT right here, SRT there, SRT in the steering wheel, not Dodge, not Durango, because they want you to know that this is the performance version. I mean, look at the freaking gauge cluster, bro. Supercharged right down here. SRT right over there too. Forged carbon on the interior. Luxurious, boys. And they have Apple CarPlay too. <laughs> Can't forget the Hellcat badges as well, because I mean, yo, like the Mopar community, this thing is like a godsend. Now, as far as the wheel and tire setup goes on this badass vehicle, we're talking 245, 45, 20s on Pirelli's in the front and the rear from factory, which is still damn crazy, guys. I mean, this thing is literally in competition with the Lamborghini Urus, the Tesla Model X, and uh, other performance SUV vehicles, and like Jeep's counterpart, actually, which we know as the Trackhawk, it has all-wheel drive. But what's cool about the all-wheel drive on this system, too, is that you can actually go into it and decide how much power and percent you want to put to the rear wheels as opposed to all four wheels. So in the more sportier mode, that's when you're getting 70% to the back end. And then, uh, you know, the other 30 on the front. And now it's time to get behind the wheel of the Durango Hellcat, and I'm gonna let you know how I feel about it. And we're seated in the Durango Hellcat. The first impression I have of this bad boy is how angry this car is. I mean, you're barely stepping on the throttle, and it wants to like throw you back in your seat a little bit. I'll give you an example as we enter the highway. But um, man, it's a comfortable car, believe it or not. You know, there's there's so much room in here. It's really cozy, it's perfect for utility, for family use, for, you know, grocery getting. You know, maybe you wanna go on a road trip. You know what I'm saying? Because it does everything for you. Now, this being my first muscle car I've ever driven, <laughs> I know, believe it or not, right? Uh, three row sports utility SUV. Um, man, I think I might have to switch on over to the uh, to the American side, man. I'm usually JDM, but just the sound of that supercharged V8 screaming, you know, man, it just 
just it feels like you're 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 a train, you're a monster. You just want to bully everything on the road. And this is the kind of car where people are gonna look at you and be like, oh, it's just a freaking Durango. No, bro, I floor it and I'm gone. I'm Audi 3000, sir. I'm Audi. Supercharged gives you instant torque, and it hooks, bro. Now, I gotta be honest, I've never, ever, ever in my life been a fan of SUVs. I've always been a fan of like, you know, literally sports cars, supercars, uh, whatever it might be, but not really SUVs. This definitely changes my mind. I'm like, wow, there's so much space in here, you know? Like, I could live out of my car, literally. <laughs> Imagine buying a Durango Hellcat just to live out of it, to cut costs. <laughs> but just about everything Dodge did to this car with like the front end, the freaking wing on the back, the hood scoop, it's all functional. It's functional aero, right? So this thing tops out at 180 miles an hour and you're getting a lot of downforce actually from the uh, rear wing because uh, it's functional. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> wow! <laughs> for a car, for a car <laughs> that is literally 5,000 pounds, the get up and go. <laughs> it moves, man. It really does. <laughs> oh my gosh, you feel like a... <laughs> You feel like you're driving a damn elephant for crying out loud. <laughs> and I mean, think about it, right? A production SUV, over 700 horsepower. That's more power than a lot of modern sports cars. You know, you get a 370Z and you're not getting any more than 355. You know, you put that up against this. Yeah, that car is way lighter, but this thing is a freaking hell of a bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're you're blasting. So this thing would take, this thing would take that, you know? It would definitely beat a Genesis Coupe, which is like 2,000 pounds lighter, but it also has, um, you know, like 400 less horsepower. It really makes a difference. It really does. And I love the fact that it's not super crazy, obnoxious, loud. Of course, you know, you could really do that if you wanted to, but you don't really have to. You step on it, Torquey. Oh, you shift it, and it's moving. Boom, look at that. You're just in a utility vehicle and you're completely blowing everybody out of the water. And the Brembo brakes here, man, they work. They freaking work. Gotta love Brembo's. I'm 100% sure taking this thing across the country and just coming up on actual car enthusiasts, right? You know, people in their little sports cars are like, oh, it's a Hellcat, but it's heavy as hell, you know, like, let's still run it. It would be so fun to do 40 rolls, 60 rolls, 80 rolls, 60 to the 130s in this. I mean, this thing does top out at 180, you know, so that's faster than most modern sports cars in an SUV, bro. An SUV. And so another cool fact about the Dodge Durango Hellcat is that there's only 2,000 units made for the entire world, right? You know, a very nice, tight-knit niche community. But, um, you know, it might be the last of the breed. I mean, we're in 2022 now. Electric cars are, you know, really taking over the market. You know, look at the Tesla Model X Plaid, man, you know. Look at the new Beemos and everything. Like, everybody's doing hybrid power now and changing and this, that, and the third. And we're all getting old, though. So, you know, it's probably definitely going to be one of the last, uh, you know, and don't quote me on this, but one of the last really, you know, uh, supercharged V8 powerhouse elephantitis type uh, cars. <laughs> And I gotta keep it honest with you guys. The steering on this car is extremely responsive. I mean, I typically drive a Ford Focus and the turning radius on that is phenomenal. But it kind of just feels like I'm in a bigger version of that when I sit behind the wheel of this. It's not like uh, Lambo where the turning radius is ass. Let's go ahead and try and launch this bastard again.
dude. <laughs> it just moves, man. It just moves. So my overall opinion of the 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat with over 700 horsepower is that you should definitely buy one if you like to be a bully. If you would want a car that's going to give you a lot of performance but it's not going to give you too, too much attention like say a Lamborghini Urus. People aren't going to think that you're super bougie and stuck up. Um, you know, like if you have a BMW, sorry my BMW guys um, and gals, but like, <laughs> you know, like this is just something that you get and you're like, hey, I have my power and I have all the utility, you know what I mean? There's a freaking TV screens on the back of this, man. You can hook up your HDMI cords, you can play Nintendo Switch, your Roku, everything, you know, it's, it's a family vehicle, you know, you, you get this, you have a family of six and you're good for like, you know, the rest of eternity practically, you know, zombie apocalypse, you could be running through people with this, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it's a train, you know, it's a, it's a freaking plane, it's a, it's a, it's a monster, so yeah, this thing is, it's an amazing car, man, it really is, it really is. All in all, guys, I had such a blast filming this badass video with this Badass SUV, man. 710 freaking horsepower right freaking here. If you want to film a review on your car, just hit me up on Instagram or email me at osazevlogs at gmail.com. But yo, we're going to wrap this up right here. So you already know, peace, love, sleep, and grease. Like, share, and subscribe for more vlogs, videos like this one. Because Osaze vlogs. <laughs> Yeah, they look in the eye, I tell me, gee, oh no, she want love, love.